this video I'm going to show you how to do a clean install of Windows 10. <coughs> um, first off I'm going to start by saying real quick and I've tried to make this video short I'm just going to show you these pages and I'm going to put these links underneath in the description of this video. You cannot use your activation key for your computer your product key will not work you have to do an upgrade first it will take notice and and uh, it will send a message to their activation servers saying that your computer is okay and already has it after it is installed and then you can do a clean install and to get it you can go to this page I'll put the link underneath there also make sure you get 32 bit it has to match your your computer 32 bit or 64 bit you can use these to get the ISO file it'll burn it to a disk for you and or you can use that to upgrade too that's if you're tired of waiting and you and that you see that window down there but they're not sending it to you yet well here's that's where you can get it all right in fact I'll show you how Cortana works Open VirtualBox. Okay, opening Oracle VM VirtualBox. It's really cool. It, it does so much for you. Alright, I have it. I built a, a virtual machine and I have it attached to it right now, so let's get started. Now, this is going to be exactly like if you put it on your actual computer. This is just a computer built within a computer in case you don't know what a virtual machine is. They're making it so much easier. Windows 7 was quite a bit harder. Alright, you just make sure these are set right. I'm going to keep mine all at English. Click Next. And you click Install Now. right here if you've already got it upgraded you won't need to put the product key in it the product key is built it's embedded in the software so as long as you've been registered from upgrading it will re-register from a clean install so you click skip and you agree to the license and you do this one right here custom install and highlight that one or if you have three or four like mine did when I first did it on my actual computer I had four of them I deleted them all except the one just one and that's the one with the the most space now this and this one is only I only gave it 62 gigabytes for my virtual machine you highlight that and then you click new and then you click and it automatically sets the size that it needs and you click apply and this will tell you what it really does. Windows work features works correctly. It might create additional partitions for the files. Now actually what it did was created a recovery partition which would be this one here, system reserved. And it puts data on there automatically. It's just wonderful. And so anyway, you highlight this one here. I'm not going to format. This is just a virtual machine highlight that one the primary which will also be the largest one then click next and this part here takes a while especially this one right here it's a long count so I'm gonna pause the video when it gets down to there or if I miss it it'll be right on the very next step don't worry I won't let you miss anything that I click on okay I finished all of that now it's gonna restart now right here where it says boot from CD don't do anything just ignore it because that your CD is already your DVD is already loaded on there I haven't really 
uh, timed it how long it takes but if you go back to the beginning of the video you can see my clock down here that's why I have it showing you can see when I started and when it finished because even though I paused the video it was still going and it asks for, the, for your product key again there's one more time it'll ask for it but you just ignore that you skip past it because the product key is embedded in Windows 10 remember you have to upgrade first before you can do a clean install and it has to be activated other people are saying it took like a week to activate or three or four days to activate but mine it was the same day it did take all day though but it was the same day and their servers are probably calming down a little bit They're hoping to get 1 billion Windows 10 users within three years. They're saying they already have 1 million. Well, had. That was like four days ago. I'll pause as soon as it shows anything else different here. You just, just all you gotta do is just let and set it go and it does most of the work. I'll be right back. Okay, it did some installing. It, it uh, restarted a few times and here it is again to put the product key in it. And remember, like I said, right down here, you click on do this later. And this one here is, you can use your express settings, but me and myself, I like to do the customized settings at least to change one. And that's this one here. Unturn off the smart screen because otherwise every time you download something it'll try to block it and you'll have to give it permission. That's up to you. I, I But I turn that off all the time. And click next. And I'll go, I'll be back when it gets to the next step. In fact I don't even know if there is one. I'll, I'll be back though. I just thought I'd show you getting critical updates these are all the updates and improvements that they have created after they have already went live with it and published it for people to get yeah I forgot about this part here you can say my organization like if it's for your business or if you're gonna be on a network I'm gonna click the house the home button I own it and then click next and I'll be back if there's another step alright here's where you want to sign in to log into your your uh, Microsoft account you can skip that and create one later or if you already have one you can sign in and I'm gonna sign in and I'll be right back after I sign in okay I signed in and hit next after it activates it'll act ask you to verify your account and then you uh, it just you put an email address in they'll send you the pin number not this one don't get that one confused that's if you want to change your password to a pin number I'm gonna skip this step because I'm just gonna keep signing in with my password easier for me to remember this just tells you a little bit about Cortana updates are done now we'll set up your apps I'll be back okay it just came on now to see if it is activated just you just need to be patient to see if it is activated 
just so this ain't using up my RAM I'm gonna click up here that's the, the beauty of a virtual machine you can pause it and so it ain't running and I'm gonna show you uh, on mine you click down here and you can get all your settings or you can click over here and click settings and then you click updates and security and then right here on activation as you can see mine is already activated Windows 10 Home 64 bit on my actual computer as soon as that is activated it'll ask you to verify and it'll it'll bring you a message this little thing here will turn white it'll pop up and tell you there's a message plus it'll keep it'll stay white until you actually read the message all right now it's really pretty simple I don't know how long it took but you can see by the bit the time on my clock down here how long it took all right thank you very much for watching please subscribe click like dislike